Hello! Today I am going to be doing for you my May makeup basket. I mean technically this is, video is going to be going up halfway through May, no, like a week into May. Um, but yeah, this is when we're filming it because this is really every month is the same now anyway. Are there different months? I don't think so. I have been putting off this video for about two months. I was going to film this for an April makeup basket but then my internet died for like two weeks and I couldn't upload anything and then by the time I could upload stuff it was like well into April and it just felt like the time had passed. So now that it's May and I've done quite a lot of the other organisation projects that I had on my to-do list, I am going to do this one. My makeup drawer, my everyday makeup drawer has been a state for a number of weeks and I just keep like opening it, taking stuff out and then closing it because I can't even look at it. So I'm just gonna sort through everything that's in there, take loads of stuff out that um, I want to put into my storage makeup drawer and then take stuff out of that drawer that I want to put into my everyday makeup um, and then we're going to put it on our face. So I'm going to get into it, I'm going to just speed through me picking the stuff and then I'll talk you through basically what I've chosen as my everyday makeup basket for this month and then we'll put it on our face. Sorry if it's a little bit backlit but hopefully you can see the actual state <laughs> that is my everyday makeup drawer. I just like put things in there when I pull them out of my other drawers and it's just a big, 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 big mess. Like it's new stuff that I've bought over the past couple of months. It's just too much. So let's pull this all out and sort through it. Okay, so this is going to be my everyday makeup for the month of May. I don't film these every month, but I try to switch up what I'm using even if I'm not filming it every month, just so I'm trying to work my way through my collection a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I'll talk you through all this. This is the stuff that minus that, that was in my lip stuff, but this is the stuff that is going back into my storage drawers. So for the everyday makeup that I'm going to use this month, I have just got this Pixie Glow Mist, so I wanted to keep that in there. I'm sorry if anything's out of focus, it's just, I can't see properly. <laughs> really enjoying it so far, but I've only literally used it like twice. So I'm keeping that um, to try out some more. Base wise, I've got a couple of primers. I've got this Smashbox Radiance Primer and the Watermelon Primer. These are the only primers I own. Um, don't really love this, but trying to use it up, really love this. Foundation, I have got my Ciate Extraordinary Foundation in 106P Silk, because this is like my tan shade and I am fake tanning fairly regularly at the moment. And then I wanna try and use up this Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation not use it up but just use it more the um this is the 100% pure i don't know what it's called it's it's their concealer um it's in the shade two but it's really really dark as you can see again i'm just trying to use this up it's way too dark even when i'm tanned i do like the formula 
but it's really expensive and the shade range is just so abysmal that I probably like this is shade two come on like really um so yeah even shade one like I don't know if that would be light enough or if that's going to be too light it, it it's a whole thing so I probably wouldn't repurchase it just want to get rid of it now at this point um the milk flex concealer in the shade creme I'm keeping this in there to mix with this so that I can get a better shade. Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder, only powder I own. Again, trying to work my way through it, just keep it in my everyday makeup all the time. Blush wise, I am going to play around with these ones. This is the Bare Minerals um, Gen Nude Blush in the shade Call My Blush. It's a really pretty kind of rosy pinky shade. And then we've got the Milani Luminoso Baked Blush. I am feeling like I'm gonna mix these on my cheeks today. Also the NYX Dark Circle Concealer Corrector. I don't know, something like that. I just keep that in there for correcting my under eyes. Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I pulled this out of my drawers. Physician's Formula is no longer a cruelty-free brand, but I do want to try and use this up more. Um, it's a really nice summery bronzer, but it's very, very fragranced. This is the RMS Beauty Living Luminizer. I'm really enjoying this as a cream highlight at the moment, especially in spring, summer. I think it's lovely to use cream highlights. And then for powder highlights, I pulled out my Becca Opal. This is so old out, but um, I use this every summer when I am like tanned or fake tanning or whatever, because it just pops in a way that it never pops the rest of the year. Um, yeah, I don't wear this when I'm not tanned because it just, it's too dark for me. This is the Milk Flex Highlight in the shade Lit. Absolutely love this highlight, have raved about it too many times, so we won't go on about it now, but this is just a really good one and I've been enjoying using it again. So I wanted to keep that in my everyday drawer. Eye-wise, I'm just sticking to these three products for eyeshadow. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Palette of Pops in Pillow Talk. Just really nice shimmery toppers. And then this is the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in Rose Gold. Though both those products are new to me and I'm still testing them out and seeing how I feel about them because I am gonna do an in-depth Charlotte Tilbury review. So I needed to keep those in there. And then this is the Pixie Times Heart Defencer palette. It's a really beautiful sunset palette. And I just thought it would be really nice to use these shades when the weather's a bit more summery. So I wanted to play around with that. And then I've got my eye primer by Terme. This mascara is the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Volume 2. I'm really enjoying it, but it does smudge a little bit under the eyes. So I want to test it out some more. This is the Legendary Brows, brilliant brow gel. This is the um, Fiore Minerals, just crayon eyeliner and a liquid eyeliner that I just keep there for when I need. And then lip wise, I've got a few different ones. So lip wise, I tend to just use whatever I feel like on the day, but I will, when I do these everyday makeup baskets, pull out certain lip products that I want to try and use once or twice in the month and make sure, you know, like prioritize those over all my other lip products, just so I get use out of them really. So the ones that I've chosen are the Eye of Auras Bio Lipstick in the shade Honey. This is a really pretty sort of darker nude. This is Charlotte Tilbury Super Cindy. These two are quite similar and I thought it might be nice to layer them, so. This is the Ilia Shell Shock Tinted Lip Conditioner. Absolutely love this shade for summer and had to pull it out again because otherwise I will forget that I have it and I love it so much. This one is the Charlotte Tilbury Superstar Lips, I think they're called, in Pillow Talk. Again, I'm testing this out, still deciding how I feel about it. So just wanted to keep that there to remind me to use it. And then this is the Bare Minerals Lip Gloss in the shade Sugar. Again, just a really pretty nude. Just don't get enough use out of it. And then this is the Lip Cheat from Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk. So just the lip liner. Again, testing it out. So that is everything. So I'm gonna put all that 
into my little boxes and then we're gonna put it on my face. Actually, I might do it the other way around. I might put it on my face first because it's all in front of me nicely now. <laughs> so I have done my skincare today and put sun cream on, but I am gonna spray a little bit of this Pixi Glow Mist just to add a little bit more of a layer for my foundation to sit on. I don't really wanna use primer today. I'm just not really feeling it. Um, so I'm gonna skip that and just use the setting spray. I just washed my makeup brushes like two days ago and I haven't used them since and I'm so excited <laughs> to use them. I think I'm gonna do eyes first. So I'm going to use my primer and just lay that down as a base. I might as well, I guess, just use everything in here. All three eyeshadow products. So I'm gonna first take a little bit of the Eyes to Mesmerize in Rose Gold and I'm just gonna pat that over and blend out with my finger. I really love wearing this on its own with nothing else. Um, it's just such an easy eye look and it makes it look like you've tried really hard. It's a really easy to blend formula. There are some downsides, which I will go into in my big review video, but for the most part, I'm really enjoying using that. Literally, my skin has been so good, and then the past two weeks, this is, this is time of the month spots, but it's just really annoying that, of course, the one time I film this month actually doing my makeup. I'm gonna start slow and just run this shade through my crease. This is called Feb 4th. Mm. Ooh, pretty. I've only used this palette a handful of times, but every time I use it, I'm really impressed with the formula of the shadows and the color selection. They perform really well. No, I'm gonna stay away from the dark pink today I'm just going to I'm just going to deepen up the crease because then I'm going to use that palette of pops okay so I'm going to use this dark brown shade called lip sync and just deepen up the outer V okay I'm going to take a bit of that original shade and just blend very lightly and softly. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this shade, which is Prime Preparer. Oh, it has French underneath the English. Prime. I don't think, I feel like that's probably Enhance, no? No, it says that's Prime. So I'm gonna push this into the center of the lid. I hope this doesn't look too similar to the last eye look I did. <laughs> Just realized it's very similar looking. Okay. Just gonna blend a bit more. I feel like it's looking a little bit muddy over here. So I'm gonna take some of the lightest shade here. Same brush that I used to blend before. And just try and clean that up by buffing it a little bit. Foundation wise, I'm gonna use my Hourglass stick. You can see this is too light for me at the moment, but I'm wearing a I'm wearing a towel next, so I'm not gonna mix it with a darker shade for now. I'm just gonna give that foundation a minute to like settle into my skin because it does always get more glowy when you've been wearing it for a few minutes. It can be quite dry and difficult to blend at first, but then the oils really come through. So I'm just gonna leave it 
and then whilst I'm waiting, I'm just going to add a little bit of the RMS Living Luminizer to the high points of my face. I'm really tempted to like spray my brush with some of that glow mist and just buff, but I know that I will regret it later when my skin is really, really, really oily. So just trust the foundation. I am now going to add a little bit of concealer because I can already see it starting to mesh a little bit better into my skin. Because I haven't gone in with a darker foundation color, I'm not going to use this dark concealer from 100% Pure. I'm just gonna go in with the Milk Makeup and I'm gonna correct first with the NYX Dark Circle Concealer. My eye did have a little bit of an allergic reaction to an eye cream yesterday, basically because I didn't realize that there was retinol in the eye cream. I got it as a free sample. It was Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Eye Rescue. I got it as a free sample. I didn't look up the ingredients. I was just applying it. Felt really moisturizing, really balmy. And then my eye goes really, really dry and flaky yesterday. And I'm like, what? what is that? I thought, I thought maybe it was the essential oils in this, but then I looked up the ingredients on the Magic Eye Rescue and it's got retinol in it. And I was like, oh my God, I've been applying this every single day. If you follow me on Instagram, you might've seen that I got some retinol products from Pixie in PR. And I was really careful with that. I was like, I'm just gonna use this tonic. I'm just gonna use it once and then I'm gonna wait a week and then I'm gonna use it again because I need to like warm my skin up to it. Little did I know that I was applying this eye cream with loads of retinol in it every single evening this week. Um, so no wonder my skin was like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> so I've just ordered some of my green people sensitive eye cream, which I always use when my eyes start freaking out um, because it is something that happens to me once or twice a year. I get a reaction under my eyes from products. So they're a bit dry and just crusty at the moment, but we'll work with it. Oh, I feel like that foundation already looks so much better than it did when I first applied it. So I'm just going to go in with my buffing brush and just kind of like stipple areas that need a bit more blending. I don't think I am going to set my face just because as I said my under eyes are quite crusty and I just I don't feel like putting powder on right now so I'm going to skip my Hourglass Veil powder and I'm just going to go straight in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm going to use a tiny bit of powder just on my blemishes. For blush, as I said, I'm gonna mix these two. Okay, I'm gonna do brows and mascara off camera and then I will see you back for lips. For lips today, I'm just going to use simple, keep it simple, keep it classic. Um, I was going to wear, layer these two lipsticks, but I just think for this look, it's quite a fresh summery look and I feel like it will just look too heavy. I will show you them swatched though. So this is Charlotte Tilbury Super Cindy and this one is the Eye of Aurus honey they're very similar but slightly different and i just think they would look really pretty layered we'll save that for another day today i'm just going to wear some of the charlotte tilbury pillow cheat in lip cheat in pillow talk with some of the bare minerals sugar gloss over the top i hope they still sell this i got this a, a year and a half ago i i know they've like changed their a lot of their like products up so I hope that this is still available. Mm -hmm. 
So this is the finished makeup look. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I feel like it was a bit all over the place, but hopefully it was fun to watch. So yeah, this is gonna be the makeup that I'm gonna try and focus on for this month. I would love to know what products you are hoping to use more of in the month of May. Yeah, and that's basically it. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you do want to see more from me and I will see you in the next one. Bye.